Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from Wag Toggle. And this one, this one's a testament of fortitude where we realize that we're in a pretty bad state mid game. We're playing for full tempo and we just keep surviving. But if you survive long enough and you find scam cards such as Bristlebach in this game, you give yourself some pretty crazy ways of getting back in the game. A little tiny bit of blood gym scaling. We're not talking 20, 30, 40 stats, but just like five plus stats and a bunch of Bristlebox and you can reset over and over and over again, those wonderful tough tusks to scam people out of lobbies. All right, enjoy. Like they advertise for Diablo. Using the launcher to say, hey, we got events upcoming. Imagine actually advertising and shit. Wouldn't that have been cool? That would have been awesome, actually. I bought the 2 2 lullabot instead of the 3 3. If only we would have known the next board had a lullabot. I liked your comment on Reddit, PH Diva. What the, what the loading screen comment meant? <laughs> yeah, when you sell minions, it, it adds more of them back to the pool. That's why you get them more often. Not that when you sell a minion, it becomes a higher priority to pop up. <laughs> God damn it. I can see how they, they interpreted that one wrong, but like... Did you really think that's how it worked? Nice, good tie. I laughed. It was good shit. These are poo. These aren't even threes. Game? Win three stars, though. Game? Diablo auto chess, hire me, Blizzard. I feel like StarCraft auto chess would work better. You gotta get some IP going for StarCraft. StarCraft of the Storm. It's Jimmy. Mm-hmm. 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 Starcraft into the Battle Storm featuring Dante from the DMC series. There you go. Look at you. You should be hired by Blizzard. That's top tier content right there. Jimmy boy. Is Jimmy. Here's the storm did well until they killed it. I mean, there's a reason they killed it, because it didn't do well. If it was doing well, they wouldn't have killed it. Did it exist for a while? Yeah. Did it exist for a while and was it a fun game? Yeah. Call of Diablo Modern Hellfare. Right, you guys are you guys are actually just geniuses, you know? Out here with these really, really good puns. <laughs> Hots was still profitable when he killed it. It just didn't turn into League of Legends. You think so? Because it feels like it was entirely a business decision. It wasn't profitable enough to develop, put any development time into. That's more profitable to leave it in life support mode and ax the developer team. If not, it seems like the business decision would have been to leave it and continue developing for it. A lot of you guys are pretty confident on this, a little very adamant about it. But like, I don't think this is an emotional reaction. It's a product from a company. They went, yeah, it's just more profitable for us to not sink development time into this. And then they chose not to sink development time into it. It's kind of the nature of, of the market. No, they irrationally hated it. Fair enough, I guess. <laughs> that is the other take, I suppose. That is the other option. No, they were mad. All right, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, I don't know if Scrapsmith is worth enough. Ah, uh, nah. Cute. Kind of cute, too. Mm, 
think we'll still roll. I see duo, I take duo, I see duo, I take duo. Looks like it to me. Somehow they had really strong feelings about it. Yeah. Overwatch failed too. Yeah, by the same definitions. That they built Overwatch 2. Or developed time into Overwatch 2 to sell a new product. Because Overwatch 1 wasn't as profitable. What was Overwatch 2? It's just Overwatch 1's development time. Bundled into a $60 package. Damn. Greed. <laughs> New product, exactly. Not much there. Go read. Overwatch 2 was supposed to have a PvE thing that ended up being scrapped. Part of it ended up being scrapped. But yes. Yes, yes, yes. You are correct. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm not emotional, just Madge. Okay, fair. Mad isn't an emotion. I'm on board. I'm just molding. It's not because of the hair, but also because of the not because of the anger either. Just little bits of mold. Mm, nope. Mm, nope. Maybe. Really don't want a golden filamental, do I? Into like a six. Okay, maybe. <sighs> well, aren't we just awkward? Don't, no, don't, I want to hear it, chat. I don't, I want to hear it one bit. I want to hear it. I don't need that stat. That stat was overrated. Very overrated. It was an overrated stat. Nobody cared about that stat. <laughs> That's twice. Twice in the two games. It's an overrated stat. Whatever it is stays in my hand. Which makes it pretty low value. Okay. So I view these guys as more permanent. Potentially you as more permanent than the Bola bot. Felemental is too complicated. Way too complicated for me to understand and play correctly. It has me all kinds of confused. Mm-hmm. Not the hits we're looking for. Not the hits at all. All right, never mind. Fine hit at the end. Very happy with the hit at the end. If only we had one more stat on the one thing on the board. And then, you know, hit completely different. But it's fine. Ah, this is it. It's a mech transition. Oh, it would have been so good. Would have had double, double mech with Anoya module too. It's Bristlebok. Other ones aren't really playable. All right, bristle box. Let's see it. Let's see what you can do. Three one blood gems. No triple duo. Nah, it's not important. I'm trying to think of any reason why I would want a triple duo here. Just actively makes us worse, right? If we think we have three, four more turns to try to scale, that's a different story. I don't think so. I don't see how it's not triple duo, TBH. Why do you want triple duo? Like, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? <laughs> board space? We don't even have a board space problem. We still have three minions we don't care about. You're just going to make yourself weaker in the short term to be a couple or a different triple 
that is not a usable card, and Bristlebach is a usable card. Find a better six. You don't have time to find a better six. Play the game in front of you. Stop acting like you have 50 turns in the game. Hmm. That was a good hit. Hmm. Nah. Nah. Okay. So obviously we don't have a ton of blood gym buffs. But we do have a pretty good way to play toward a massive amount of bristle box. So like make your argument like if you take the argument for like a golden duo, you have one bristle box for the turn. Then you get to get two minions the following turn, right? So only one copy of Bristlebach plus one copy of something else on the board. If we know we have another minion that we really want to play, then go for it. But even then, like you're weaker last turn, you're weaker this turn, and you're about even next turn. If all of these lines are third place lines or second place lines, our best bet is to tempo people out of this game and not play this one for like, oh, we're going to somehow magically have a first place viable board. It's just not in the cards. The cards are not giving us a line that plays for first. Don't try to change this into a a worse average just because you want it to be a first. Good fight. Is it ever end of turn minion so you can get a golden one immediately? What end of turn minion? Let's go find ourselves some death rattle value. Or this golden duo. You're not terrible. Cute. Microbots would be really good. Horse. Kind of cute. Poison. Not very cute. Baron. There's something here. You skip Tough Tusk? Yeah, I mean, that's why we were talking about it. That it's still potentially the best line in the game. Maybe I should have considered taking it was like why I, I brought it up that maybe that's still the best line in the game to try to play this one for full tempo is to play Tough Tusk. Rolled past it, said, all right, we're just going to look for our triples and whatnot instead. Try to give ourselves a way back. But maybe it should have been Tough Tusk. The whole like rolling past Tough Tusk was what cued me to make that statement. Tough Tusk, the two-star minion? Yeah, you can reset it with the Bristlebach. We just need a way of being able to give it stats. And we'd also need a way to, like, give it Divine Shield. That works. It's a tough transition, but it may still be the best way to play it. Ah, good shit. Yep, 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 yep. That checks out. 100%. Mm-hmm. Let's see it. See what you got. Show me what you've got. Is that enough? It's close. Just a bit short, right? Oh, that's a terrible hit. We need that to be the last one. No, especially wouldn't take that much damage. Holy shit. We left like nine health on the board and took 19 damage.
Boo. We'd be dead if we took Golden Duo, by the way. That's the that's the fun part. Like this kind of analysis. We'd be dead if we took Golden Duo, because we can't play it on the board and be stronger in the process. So like we would have lost a round. And we're no stronger by doing it. We need like microbots right now. You're kind of cute if we had microbots. Bristle box. We got bristle box, bro. Right now we got bristle box. It's all we got. Ain't worth it. Ain't worth it. Might keep you, might play you. There's microbots. Anything else to consider? This and this are going on the board this turn. I think this is bait. So sad. We need the board spot. All right, it's bait. If it's bait, it's bait. It's the last turn of the game. Puffer Quill is not a poison unless we put a, a blood gem on it. And if we try to play it in position one, or position two, then we make Lullabot leave Death Rattles in front of Eternal Summoner. Thanks, I hate it. Dynamic Duo last and Quill Bore first. No. No, 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 no. You want bigger blood gems on only two things? I'd rather have smaller blood gems, which like attack isn't super important here. I can't have Duo va get value traded because then the Lullabot leaves Death Rattles in front and we lose the Summoner value. We need this thing to die. The only way to reliably do that is to get this thing to die up front. It works. Uh-huh. Well... We don't die. We actually win or tie. Nice. Staying alive. Good card. Undead. If it wasn't this guy, Leroy is pretty decent. Man, it would have been nice to at some point get some health on Blood Gems in this game. Zero Battle Cry. Cool, Boar. I swear that card doesn't exist for me. I have played way too many games. To not have a, like, a good Cool Boar game. These games, this is just obviously all damage control, right? Here's your Tough Tusk again. This is only good if I get taunt. This actually doesn't die as long as I only have three tribes on the board. Because it gets a 6-6 six, six buff. Due to the... The hero power. But you're tier 5, not tier 6. It's okay. We'll read it together. Give 3 friendly minions of different types stats equal to their... Their... Tavern tier. Okay, you got this? What tavern tier is Eternal Summoner? We can do this. What's one plus six? We got this shit. Oh, it's seven. 
Yes! <laughs> Could you do it less sarcastically, Bofer? Sure, but it's not as fun that way. Ah, <laughs> oh, good shit. Yo, PH Diva with the 13 months. Thank you so much for the love, PH Diva. Fuck no. I think Rylock should be removed from the game before they make it a neutral. Get that shit out of here. Do you want it in every lobby? First of all, it needs to go to Tavern 4. So that Jazzer and Felimental and whatnot lines don't aren't playable on, on Tavern 3. Then after that point, we can start debating. Oh my god, it's a moon bacon Jazza! Everybody Jazzer says. Are we believers over here? Are we believers? And Leroy? Yeah, it's possible. I think we shoot the moon, though, against this kind of board. He had Zesty Shaker before. I imagine it's pretty big. Don't you want Summoner second? No. This thing is possible that it value trades. The problem with Summoner second, though, is that... Uh, is that this thing won't respawn most of the time. The upside is that you're more consistent with things dying. The downside is you potentially lose two resets. Fuck you, Leroy! Haha, <laughs> get fucked, Leroy! There we go! It's a dub! Get him! Look at it go! It grows quickly, guys! Look at that shit! Actually, doesn't matter. We're too big. <laughs> it's gigantic. This is insane. And it's just the build your own mech roll board. So we're saying like the tough tusk may still be the best hit in the game. The problem is we're whether or not we want to be strong like immediately or we wanted to play toward that longer end goal. Once we got to a stable point, picking up a tough tusk, especially with ten gold left in the turn, so felt right. We happened to get the angler to make it possible. Top two off this bullshit. Crazy how you finally have health once you have a three star. Yeah. Like it's a seven three per blood gem and we're getting four blood gems on each proc. So like each Jazzer was giving us one extra health times four on every one of these minions. You just got to find the Jazzers. There's a part of me that wants to taunt the, the Piper. Just to play around Leroy stuff. How do you get six box? Uh, duo. That's why we didn't gold the duo, was just rush down the box. That's what we wouldn't have had as many of. Had we done it that way. Interesting. So awkward. Don't you snipe it. Sniper, no sniping. Don't you fucking dare. Freeze for poison. Is it possible he has a board that we really need poison on? Yeah. 
But like, I don't want it over any of these minions, right? With what we have right now? I don't think so. Not in this scenario. Dodge. No! Yay! <laughs> we overflowed. <laughs> <laughs> no bugs <laughs> all right well i thought disconnecting meant that uh <laughs> it crashed that we got the next next combat all right well gg we won off that bullshit it was a sad fault wrecked we played two games neither is logged lovely Too many twos. We overflowed. Nah, it's just the individual buffs crash the game, right? Blood gems count as individual buffs. And when each of them is doing all of these, this buff count, it it's gradually slows down the game till it crashes. Well, that's two games so far. Both of them have had remarkably mid bullshit. And yet, good results. Okay, I'll take it.